for the lifetime achievement in the healthcare industry. In presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award, we honor an individual who has left an indelible imprint on the Indian healthcare industry throughout their industrious career. This distinguished individual, widely acknowledged and revered within the health sector, serves as a beacon of inspiration for present and upcoming healthcare professionals, symbolizing the highest standards of achievement and leadership in the field. नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग हम स्पोर्ट्समैन को कहते हैं बात मत करो खेलना सीखो सो आई आई डोंट नो व्हाट टॉक हाउ टू टॉक द वर्स्ट थिंग इज जब आप स्टेज पे बैठा के किसी की तारीफ करते हैं ये नहीं लगता तारीफ कर रहे हो या बेइज्जती कर रहे हो सो आई ऑलवेज फील कि वहां पर बैठा के ज्यादा बात हमारी नहीं होनी चाहिए व्हाई वी आर हियर दैट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट द हेल्थ केयर excellent award you are getting i think that's more important than i am i was part of this uh, world which i had uh, god have given me ability i perform and you all recognize that i am so deeply humble about that you you recognize my talent but i think more important is the people who won the award today i think your wonderful job you have done after covid actually we learn how to live our life before that it was different but i think covid sometime people said that was the worst time in our country but i said that was the best education i got during that period and we are the lucky one a lot of people said during the covid unlucky this is what i said i was the most lucky person because i survived Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening, and let's enjoy our. Mr. Dev, to announce the lifetime achievement in healthcare 2023, please. When you give lifetime achievement award, you have to stand up and yes, say, sir. "You know that means he's very old and he's gone." <laughs> in a in a bigger side, am I right? Yeah, he done. <laughs> I, as somebody saying cricket me. कपिल आपको लाइफ टाइम अवार्ड देना चाहते हैं मैंने कहा हो गया मेरा काम कि लाइफ टाइम अभी तो लाइफ शुरू हुई है लाइफ टाइम हम दे हैव टू चेंज बट व्हाट टू डू दैट्स द इंग्लिश पीपल हैव पिक दैट वर्ड मार्शल पवन कपूर वी हैव अ लुक एट हिज लाइफ मार्शल डॉक्टर पवन कपूर ए मार्शल डॉक्टर पवन कपूर एएसएम वीएसएम इन बार देखिए ये लाइफ टाइम अवार्ड अब आपको शुरू किया है खत्म नहीं हुआ एयर मार्शल डॉक्टर पवन कपूर ए बी एस एम वी एस एम एंड बाग इस चेयरमैन स्टीयरिंग कमेटी एन ए बी एच टेक्निकल एडवाइजर ऑन मेडिकल एजुकेशन टू रॉस एजुकेशन एंड ऑनरेरी वाइस चांसलर लिंकन अमेरिकन यूनिवर्सिटी जॉर्ज टाउन गुयाना ही इज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ मेडिकल सर्विसेज आई ए एफ एंड एलमनस ऑफ द आर्म फोर्सेस मेडिकल कॉलेज He has held numerous significant administrative and professional appointments throughout his distinguished career spanning over four decades. He commanded the prestigious Military Hospital MH established 22 where his leadership ensured the highest standards of medical care and administration. He also served as training officer at the Army Medical Corps AMC Center and College Lucknow. Directing staff DS at the Officers Training College (OTC) within the AMC Center and College, Joint Director AFMS Personnel. His extensive experience and expertise have been crucial in various situations, including the management of natural diseases in Uttarakhand and Jammu and Kashmir, as well as in coordinating responses to the Ebola virus outbreak. A highly regarded hospital administrator. Air Marshal Kapoor is recognized for his pioneering initiative in the AFMS such as cadre restructuring manpower augmentation and automation of AMC records he has played a pivotal role in developing strategic blueprints for the AMC center and college Lucknow and has streamlined recruitment processes to address deficiencies in medical officer availability he has received numerous accolades including the Colonel Pyarelal gold medal 
the Order of Royal Emblem from the Sultan of Oman, and multiple Vashisht Seva medals, the Param Vashisht Seva BHS Award in 2016, and commendations from the Chief of Army Staff, COAS in 1981, 2004, 2008, and 2016. Vicky deeply appreciates his enormous contribution, extraordinary service, leadership and enduring impact on healthcare industry which has made Air Marshal Dr. Pavan Kapoor a role model and is proud to confer the Lifetime Achievement Award in the healthcare industry to him in recognition of his remarkable achievements and lasting legacy in the healthcare industry. Congratulations, sir, and we welcome you. Many, many congratulations, sir. And we request you to say a few words. And for all the dignitaries on the dais, the dignitaries of the dais, my colleagues, my friends, of course, my peers. And I think. Uh, I must thank the people for bestowing this honor on me. I must thank the jury for having been so considerate to consider me for Lifetime Achievement Award when I think my life is just started. You see, I am a soldier by heart, soldier by my mouth, so I speak the facts, I will speak the truth. I have certain mentors here, sitting here in front of me, and you'll be surprised. That's why I am calling them my mentors because sitting here in the first row, I have got Surgeon Captain Rajesh Palla from the Indian Navy. He is my senior. He has mentored me all through the armed forces, my journey in the armed forces. I have got Dr. Agarwal here. You know, he has taught me the ABC of administration, how to manage in a civil environment. It is difficult for the armed forces people. Well, you know, my journey, you have seen my journey in the armed forces. All I can say one thing is that when Kapil Ji was hitting that 175 runs against Zimbabwe, I was evacuating casualties in Mizoram. Same day, to reach back to my bunker and then hear the commentary that India has won the match. You know, in the armed forces, we learn many things and all of us who are from the armed forces here, we know that. You see, when a soldier goes to war, he goes to war for what reason? To maintain the territorial integrity of the country, to look after the security needs of the population of his country, for his naam, nishan and izzat. But he also goes to war with the confidence that behind him is a medical support system that worry to get injured, worry to get wounded, there is a system behind which will take care of him, make him fit enough so that he can go back and fight again. That is quality. And when I entered into the realm of quality and when we introduced NABH, we said, in this country, when every patient who goes to every hospital with a confidence that I am going there to be healed, to be cured and my discomfort to be revealed. Once our population has this confidence, then this country has achieved quality in healthcare. And with this aim, Yashpal Bhatia and myself, we participated along with Dr. Gyani who gave the leadership to introduce and Come construct the first set of standards for this hospital and we gave you this organization called NABH. I don't know whether the CEO is here, right here or not, but I heard him in the evening. 
You see, this effort came not from just one individual. This effort came from a team of people. There are now others like Sanjeev Singh who are heading this technical committee, taking it forward. There are many of you who are involved in this process. My only request is this movement has to go on. It has to go on because the quality healthcare is not the right of the haves. It is also the right of have-nots. So till that time we don't make quality of healthcare reach to the last man in this country. We have not done our job. We cannot have lifetime achievement. Our achievements have just begun. Thank you, Fiji, once again. Thank you, jury members. Thank you, sirs. I can never forget, again, one of my mentors, my teachers, Honorary Brigadier Dr. Abhin Lal, he taught me pathology and me and Yashpal Bhatia were his trainees in Armed Forces Medical College. So thank you for mentoring us and thank all of you for being present in numbers to me, encourage me to receive this award because I thought by the end most of the people would walk out. But thank you for staying here. Thanks a lot. Jai Hind. God bless you all.